In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to move your Bitcoin off an exchange and into a cold storage hardware wallet. And with that, I'll explain exactly what cold storage is and the importance of why you might want to get your Bitcoin off an exchange. Okay, so first things first, what is a cold storage wallet? A cold storage wallet, also known as a hardware wallet, is a physical device that stores the private keys to your Bitcoin wallet. So this type of wallet provides an added layer of security as your private keys are stored offline, making it more difficult for hackers to access your funds. And in order to send transactions, you'll need the physical device to do so. Some examples of hardware wallets and cold storage devices include items from cold card, uh, devices from Trezor, Ledger, Bitbox, and so on. So hopefully now you understand what a cold storage wallet is. The question is, why would you want to use one of these rather than leaving your Bitcoin on an exchange? Well, the main reason is basically security. Leaving your funds on an exchange could leave you exposed to counterparty risk. If, for example, the exchange was to get hacked, they turned out to be fraudulent, or other security risks that you can think of. And in the UK and most jurisdictions, Bitcoin exchanges and crypto exchanges aren't fully regulated. So in the UK, they're not fully regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, unlike traditional financial institutions. So there is no form of protection for you as a customer if there is some sort of failure with the exchange. Now, this all may sound skeptical, but there have been countless crypto and Bitcoin exchanges to file for bankruptcy, leaving their clients unable to access their funds. Most recently, we had the collapse of FTX, where the exchange simply didn't have the crypto they claimed to have, causing the platform to completely collapse when too many people tried to withdraw their funds. And I personally got burnt by this firsthand as I had Bitcoin held within the BlockFi exchange, which also filed for bankruptcy as they had ties to FTX. So all in all, moving your Bitcoin to a cold storage wallet helps to reduce your counterparty risk, improves your security, and improves your control over your Bitcoin. But with that, it does require you to take more responsibility over your security. There are also other types of secure wallets, such as multi-sigs, which require multiple devices to be able to sign a transaction. So it's worth researching and try to find the option that best suits your needs. Um, but the process for withdrawing from an exchange is exactly the same in each case. So hopefully that now explains what cold storage is and why you might want to use it. We can now get into how to actually withdraw your Bitcoin into your secure wallet. Okay, so here we are on the Kraken app, where I've currently got 0.01 of a Bitcoin. Now let's say I've been dollar cost averaging every month or buying consistently, and now I've reached this amount where I want to withdraw it into cold storage. So the first thing you need to understand when withdrawing Bitcoin on chain is that you don't want to be withdrawing amounts with less than about 0.01. And the reason for this is basically because of fees that you'll be charged in the future because of something called UTXOs. Now, I'm not going to go into it in this video and explain exactly what all of that means because it is quite complicated, but you can look out for a future video explaining that or go look it up yourself now. But for the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that you don't want to be moving on chain less than 0.01. Okay, so with all that out of the way, what you need to do to actually withdraw your Bitcoin from Kraken is click this middle button here, click withdraw, click the asset you want to withdraw, which is Bitcoin, and then select the network. So we're doing this on-chain because you need to withdraw on-chain to get your Bitcoin into cold storage. So what we're gonna do is click Bitcoin. Okay, so now we need to add the Bitcoin wallet address that we want to send the Bitcoin to. So all we need to do is press add new address. Then at this point, you'll either scan the QR code of your wallet address that you want to send the Bitcoin to, which might be on another device, or you'll copy the wallet address over and paste it in the box. So to do so, I'm going to just use one from a different wallet I've got. So let's copy that. And then let's just paste that in there. And press continue. Then it's going to ask you to name this wallet. So let's just call it cold storage. Now you don't really need to put the description in if you don't want to, that's more just for you. But this address will be saved in the future if you want to continue sending payments across to this wallet. Then at this point, all you need to do is just press continue, check that's all right. Then you will need to verify the wallet address by email to make sure that it's actually you doing it. So let's just do that. Head over to emails and there we go, confirm address. So now if we jump back into Kraken, you'll see that the cold storage wallet is now there as one of the options that I can send the Bitcoin to. And it's in my saved wallet addresses. So now we just need to select the amount of Bitcoin we want to send. So you can type in the exact amount you want in either Bitcoin or pounds, or you can just press the max button, which is what I usually do. Now check all of that is correct. 
and you can see this transaction is only going to cost me about 47p which is really quite competitive but the point to note is that generally kraken charge a flat fee so what i'm getting at is that it's better to send your bitcoin in larger transactions less frequently so that it will basically save you in transaction fees over time and then all you need to do is swipe the slider at the bottom and the transaction will be initiated and when withdrawing from Kraken, it will usually go through within about half an hour to an hour. But that basically covers everything and it really is that simple to get your Bitcoin off an exchange in a secure way and into a wallet with less counterparty risk. Whether that's a cold storage device or a multi-sig wallet. Now if you want to know how to withdraw and send Bitcoin over the Lightning Network for practically free, I'll leave a link on screen now to my video breaking down exactly how to do that. But with all of that being said, that covers everything for today. So if you did enjoy the video or you found it useful, please do me a favor and smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here and like this sort of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you never miss a video. But as always, take it easy and enjoy the rest of your day.